Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. The COVID-19 crisis is escalating in the UK, in Europe, Italy, Spain and the rest of the world. And it is clearly causing a great deal of concern for everybody. Not least of all, patients with heart valve disease. Heart Valve Voice, a very important charity who have done a great deal for patients with heart valve disease over the last few years, have asked me to put together a short video to try and answer some of the commonest questions that they're facing from their followers. And also, you know, the very common questions that patients are asking me on a daily basis. Let me start by explaining what coronavirus infection is. Coronavirus is a small microbe, smaller than a bacteria, that doesn't respond to antibiotics. Some people have compared COVID-19 with influenza, but there are two big differences. COVID-19 is very, very infectious. You will catch it by inhaling the droplets from a infected individual, or by touching uh, the droplets that have landed on a surface into your mouth, eyes, or your nose, if you don't wash your hands regularly. So physical distancing, and we're recommending two meters at least, and also washing your hands regularly, cleaning the surfaces of your home on a regular basis are the ways that we anticipate that we can slow the spread of the virus. The other big difference between COVID-19 and influenza is that it creates a huge amount of morbidity. In other words, it really makes people sick. And perhaps up to 20% of people who get COVID-19 infection will end up in a hospital, some into ITU, and some unfortunately onto a ventilator. And the, the death rate if you end up on a ventilator is extremely high. This is very different to influenza. So when you have a large population of individuals in a country who can get infected, you can see that there's gonna be a large proportion of individuals who are gonna end up in a hospital. The NHS is currently preparing to increase its ITU bed status and its ventilator status simply for this reason. And this will mean that those patients who are currently undergoing diagnosis for heart valve problems, or those patients who are on waiting lists, waiting for heart valve disease, will have their surgery delayed unless they're urgent, requiring hospital admission, or they're in emergency, in which case there are provisions in place within the NHS.